as a sportsman uh, living here in Christchurch to, to see the, the new projects of the, the new three uh, sporting facilities is very exciting. Um, it's, it's something that uh, we need uh, you know, as part of the recovery. There's such an opportunity for um, Christchurch to build some amazing facilities and from what I've seen um, you know, it's, it's really exciting. I think the Metro Sports Facility is something that's going to take Christchurch further into the into the future than maybe some of the other cities in New Zealand. So I think it's a fantastic thing going around town at the moment. You know, anything that new that pops up that sort of lifts your spirits a bit. So it'll be you know something as as big as that um, that the public can use just as well as high performance. Um, you know, athletes is, is a great great positive. With what's happened with the, with the earthquake and a lot of those facilities being damaged, you know, obviously you want to um, still have that sporting culture here in the province because I think not only for me as a sportsman but now as a parent, um, you know, I want to encourage my kids to play sport and part of that's having great facilities. The fact that we're building new, new resources now and new facilities is great but it's really for the grandchildren and really about, it's all about the future. Metro Sports Facility is something Christchurch really needs for families, um, young children, recreational sport and um, right up to the elite sports level. It's going to be such a fantastic opportunity and it's going to help uh, cricket and young cricketers and, and um, you know, little, cr little cricketers that are going to aspire to be the, the good cricketers. I know the council and the government are working really hard to put the infrastructure back in place and sporting facilities are just, a, 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 to me, are just a function of everyday life and things that this city needs to have because if we don't put them in then we'll never have them and if we're going to get them we might as well make them world class. It's such an opportunity for Christchurch to make a mark and really um, put something together and, and create a city that is um, you know, world class. Whenever you have um, you know, high performance facilities you generate interests uh, internationally and uh, to have certain facilities set up here in Christchurch hopefully that uh, you know broadens uh, us to having some, some international events. And it'll attract a lot of people in from around the world as well. I know when we travel around we see awesome facilities, it's, you know, it's, it creates a buzz within the team. Attracting world class athletes to the city it will only be good. I mean, you think of the, you know, the children and the schools that will be affected, you know, the, the ability to, to rub shoulders possibly with these athletes. Being able to watch these people, being able to see how they, how they work and how they function and um, what makes them tick and the difference between in sports but also the similarities and what you can take from the other sports as well. Rugby obviously sets the template for prof professionalism in New Zealand. Uh, if we can work m more with them and also with um, some of the more uh, high performance sort of endurance based sports. If you're a high performance athlete the technical side of having all those facilities and the warm down pool and what we called a flume where they could film you underwater and, and analyse your technique was exceptionally important for me as an athlete when you're at that top level. Not everyone's an elite sportsman but I think generally we've got the culture in New Zealand and especially in Canterbury where you just want to go and have a go and so if you can do that um, in, in a facility that is world class and you get there and, and it encourages you and your family to go and play sport well that's a great thing and as you say then what that does in turn is attract the best people to the province to, to be part of a sports industry so yeah I'm really excited about the prospect of um, go and have a swim or go and play some basketball with my kids um, when it's done. They used to have an early bird um, swimming session with all the golden oldies at Kiwi2 and they loved it and it was so awesome to see everybody utilising a facility like that from children and families, babies, learn to swim right up to the elite level, you know, they're over in the next lane, you know, training for the Olympics. So I think a facility is exceptionally important for us all. You know, the people here uh, love sport and, you know, it's been a, a tough uh, few years, you know, for the people of Christchurch, so to have something to look forward to uh, will be a, a real draw card. The future's looking very bright for Christchurch and sporting in Christchurch as well.